For question number five of a final exam review um, with the short answer problems, I have number five, the sales and thousands of a new type of product are given by S of T is equal to 100 minus 70 times E to the negative 8 tenths T. Where T represents time in years, we want the rate of change of sales at the time when T is equal to two. So S prime of T would be negative 70 times negative 8 tenths makes 56 times e to the negative 0 0.8 times t power. And if we put 2 into this derivative, we get a value of about 11.31, rounding to two decimals. So the rate of change. Rate of change of sales after two years is um, 11.31 thousand, so 11,310 products. So that's for number five. Um, to continue with number six, we have assumed the total revenue from the sale of X items is given by R of X is equal to 20 times the natural logarithm of 4X plus one, while the total cost to produce X items is C of X is equal to X divided by four. We want the approximate number of items that should be manufactured. So the profit R of X minus C of X is maximum. So that profit, this would be 20 times the natural logarithm of 4x plus 1 um, minus x divided by 4. And when we take the derivative of this profit function, we would get 80 divided by 4x plus 1 minus a fourth. And to find this maximum, we need to set that derivative be equal to zero. So by adding a fourth, multiplying by four, multiplying by four x plus one, um, we would obtain for this 320 is equal to four x plus one. And solving for x gives us a value of 80. And we subtract 1, divide by 4. Well, it gives us about 79 and change, but we're going to round that up to 80 since we are talking about the number of items. Can't really have a fractional amount of items to produce or manufacture. So the profit is maximized. Profit is maximized after manufacturing after manufacturing 80 items. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.